guys, it's raining like super heavy. You guys can see. Holy shit, I'm just making sure there's like no water dripping through my house. I think recently there's like water dripping through, so I'm just making sure there's literally nothing happening. Alright. Okay, anyway, yeah, it's raining really heavily right now. Holy crap, man. What's happening to Singapore? Again, telling you guys, these days it's been raining so heavily, I don't even know what's going on with Singapore. Can you guys actually hear the thunderstorm? Okay, are we gonna start? Maybe. It's been a while. It's been a while since I actually recorded in my room. Like, I can't remember the last time I did it, but <clears throat> we are finally recording in my room because we are actually gonna be talking about Pokemon Go Beyond. So this is gonna be the brand new update that's coming out in December onwards to 2021. And we're gonna go through basically all of it. I think all of it. Um, with the help of Pokemon Go Hub. So thanks Pokemon Go Hub for this. So as, let's just dive right in, okay? So beginning of November 30th, Pokemon Go will receive its largest content update. I'm sorry if it's a bit loud. Can you guys hear the thunderstorm? If this is, uh, you guys cannot hear it, that would be great. Okay, anyway. Yeah, so the first thing is leveling system from one to 40 will increase to 50. 50, okay? So we're gonna get level 50 Pokemon Go players, but it's not that simple, we'll get to it, okay? They're gonna add generation six and introduce season into Pokemon Go. So season's gonna be great. That's gonna be like spring, summer, winter, fall, you know, all that kind. I don't know why we're in that order, but yeah. Anyway, so table of content as level changes and level cap to 50, experience bonuses, XP rewards, uh, all those kind of stuff. I think, yeah, there's like a couple of rewards that you get as well as you level up, you know. Uh, seasons, like I said, there's candy XL. I think that's one of the stuff. And basically, the f one of the first things, uh, let's just go through one by one, okay? So, first things first, leveling changes and level cap increase to 50. I am sort of ready for this since last year because I once I hit 40, I think it was two years ago when I hit level 40, I was thinking, okay, I'm ready for the next level. But that, now I think about it, I don't think I'm really that ready because the way it level up in Pokemon Go is that it goes up exponentially. Like 40 to 41 is going to be a lot. 41 to 42 is a lot. So the cumulative EXP until 50 is going to be ridiculous. Like we'll, we'll get to that, we'll get to that. Okay, experience bonuses until the end of the year. For the next uh, few more weeks, right, to help trainers to reach level 40 faster, a double catch XP bonus will be live from Wednesday 18th of November until the 31st of December, so until end of the year, right? So basically, double catch EXP, double evolve, I think anything that's gonna be EXP uh, related, I'm not sure about raids, but maybe just catching only. XP reward rebalance. Starting on November 30th, you earn more XP from catching Pokemon, evolving Pokemon, catching Pokemon eggs, registering new Pokedex entry, and more. In some cases, the XP earned will be as much as double what it was before. Wow. I think that's kind of cool. Next one, Legacy Level 40 Trainer Reward. If you already reached Level 40 before the end of this year, you will be entitled to a title Legacy Level 40 Trainer and some exclusive rewards. So one of them is a time research that you can get exclusive Gyarados hat. Now this one I'm very interested and very uh, excited about. Look at this, I can just zoom in. That one looks so cool. That one looks so cool. Like we have a Magic Cup hat, I think it was quite a while back when Pokemon Go started. Uh, now we're going to get a Gyarados hat, so it's like a, you know, we, we evolve, we evolve guys, you know, we evolve. Uh, there's going to be a medal as well that tells you that you get a, your level 40 legacy person. Power up Pokemon beyond their previous CP maximum. Now because we're going to hit level 50, we're going to go over the level 40 cap, Pokemon levels are going to do the same as well. Level 30 trainers can power up Pokemon to level uh, 40, assuming they have enough candy and stardust, but level 40 trainers can power up their Pokemon to 50, assuming they have enough Candy XL and Stardust. Now, what is Candy XL? So Candy XL is basically like our normal candy, except that it comes in a pack of 10. So if you happen to have 10 Candy XL, that's 100 candies. So you, you understand where I'm going with this, okay? Early testing going to take place in Australia. So Australia is going to be the first one. I think right now there's a couple of uh, YouTubers that is in Australia. They're already level 41, if I'm not mistaken, at the moment of recording this video. Yeah, that's kind of cool. And they actually have a picture that tells you exactly what kind of stuff you have to do to level up. Now, 
each level will be different based on the extra tasks you have to do. Like level 46, this is just an example. You have to complete 100 few research tasks, take a snapshot of a Pokemon seven days in a row. That's not too difficult. Make 50 excellent throws now. That's going to be difficult for some people, you know, and hatch 30 eggs if you only use a normal incubate. You guys can hear that right it's really loud okay uh yeah hatching eggs it's gonna be interesting anyway so yeah they're uh, basically level 40 to level 50 you have to do these kind of extra tasks but i think those kind of tasks would definitely be finishable finishable while you're trying to grind the exp because trust me the exp curve from 40 41 42 to 43 it's a lot it's a lot it's gonna take you a while so here are the kind of quests that you can expect all right Level 41, submit your catching skills to a test of endurance. You'll be expected to catch a number, high number of Pokemon in a single day, along with other tasks in order to reach level 41. Now, I am pretty sure online right now, there's a couple of uh, like tasks that they already like wrote out. Um, I will try to find it later, but basically, I know the first one I remember, you have to catch like 200 Pokemon in a single day. I think that's ridiculous if you ask me, like you have to really grind like crazy. But I think we can do it. On a community day, 200 Pokemon, eh. You know, definitely doable. Level 42 will be evolving Eevee into each of its available evolutions to using certain evolution items on a specific Pokemon. Reaching level 2 will test your knowledge of Pokemon evolution. So I think that's kind of nice. You have to evolve 7 Eevees and... Is it 7 or is it 8? I think with Generation 6 coming out, we're going to get uh, Sylveon. So 8? Okay, 43. Let's see. We master your gym battles and raid battles. Oh man, we're going to be battling a lot of gyms and stuff. You need to earn a certain number of platinum medals as well before you can advance to level 43. Ooh. Okay, so here's one thing I'm going to suck at. Okay, I do not have enough gold medals for gyms. Like, uh, because number one, in Singapore, every gym is usually packed always okay so if you want to put a pokemon in uh, a gym in singapore chances are you're not going to unless you take it down and then someone's going to take down your gym within an hour so yeah i don't really earn a lot of coins in singapore so yeah that kind of sucks so i cannot really level up my gym level 44 battle other trainers has been a fundamental aspect of pokemon rpg since the beginning but it's still relative new to pokemon go have you been have you been developing your skills in battle you have to if you want to reach level 44 so lots of pvp for this one uh, 45, you battle in gyms, raids, and go battle league, but to reach 45, you need to focus your effort in taking down those pecky, pesky team go rocket villains. Oh, I have a feeling that we're going to have to like fight 100 go uh, rocket grunts, and then maybe a couple of leaders. Oh, man. 46, get ready to explore intrepid trainer. To reach level 46, you need to complete a number of few research tasks and hatch a certain number of eggs too. Oh. I hate it when they say eggs because I don't really like hatching eggs, especially since, you know, it costs a lot of money. 47, you may think that you have mastered art of battling in raids, but your requirement for 47 will really test your medal. For example, one channel requires you to win a raid with a team that meets certain qualification. Wow. So can you imagine if you actually had to battle a raid where all your Pokemon cannot be more than level 30, for example, right? That would be kind of interesting. Or battle a raid where only use a certain type of Pokemon or a certain Pokemon. So all your Pokemon, like team of six Pokemon, uh, see, yeah, team of six Pokemon has to be the same Pokemon. I think that would be, be kind of cool. 48, the requirement to reach 48 are focused on one of the most important things in all Pokemon Go, your friendship with your buddy Pokemon. Okay, let me stop right there. Buddy Pokemon is one of the most difficult thing to do uh, and tedious because number one, you have to walk them, you have to get them to... Um, What's the word I'm looking for? You have to get them to best friend. Oh, sorry, best friend is for the other one. What's the uh, the final stage? That's going to be difficult. Uh, and speaking of that, uh, level 49, since we're talking about best friends, right? Importance of your friendship with your buddy Pokemon, it's your friendship with other trainers. Now, if they say that you need to get like 200 best friends, I think I will never reach level 49 for the life of me. <laughs> because I think uh, getting enough best friends is going to be difficult since I am a terrible, and you guys can quote me on this, those people who are my friends on Pokemon Go, I'm a terrible person for not opening gifts and sending gifts. Very sorry. So level 49 is about uh, getting gifts and stuff uh, with your friends. And level 50, uh, 50, 50. 50. This is it, the home stretch to reach the highest level among all Pokemon Go. You must master all aspects of the game, for example, including making excellent throw, catching legendary, and defeat Team Go Rocket with Pokemon under 1.5k CP. Wow. 
I have never tried that. I think that's going to be difficult. So you can tell this is the ultimate test whether you're ready to stand among the most accomplished trainer in Pokemon Go. And of course, you might also find yourself with a surprise avatar item at the end. So I do understand that every single level that's going to give you a, like a reward, right? So some of them are poses, some of them are items and stuff. Uh, I think that's, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Candy Excel. Pokemon Go will be introducing Candy Excel. These candies were required to power up Pokemon to even higher CP than previously be possible and can be acquired by either catching Pokemon or be converting and combining candy into Candy XL. There will be also other ways to obtain Candy XL, so stay tuned. Better catch a lot of Pokemon, guys. So, seasons. Every three months, trainer can expect a new season with major changes and new Pokemon. In each event, they'll run with each season but more on heavily tied with season itself. In addition to regular changes at the start of the season, Trainers can also expect to see mega updates to mega evolution Pokemon throughout and changes to Go Battle League format ranking and reward structures. I think that's kind of cool because spring they will come out like spring type Pokemon, summer, summer type, uh, and also like I said, Go Battle Leagues they will have some kind of like summer league or something. I don't know, use fire type Pokemon. Uh, what well, Pokemon Go seasons? So like I said just now, different Pokemon, different hemisphere, and oh yeah, Deerling. Deerling definitely one of those Pokemon that has seasons kind of thing. I think that's kind of cool. We can finally get all four types of Deerling in this case. So uh, I think one of the last few things is the Go Battle League changes once season starts. If you guys are really into Go Battle League, not unlike me because I'm a terrible trainer like I said, they're expanding it from rank 10 all the way to rank 24. So rank 10 is already hard enough to get but Keep in mind, when you expand it to rank 24, people are saying that usually a uh, majority of players can reach rank 20, okay? That is like the equivalent of reaching rank 8 or something like that. Rank 21 to rank 24 is more like the elite type, you know? The one that really want to power through, be the best of the very best, you know? As long as I can get good rewards, I think I'll give it a go, okay? Next thing on the list, this is my, my favorite one, okay? So guys, Carlos is coming to Pokemon Go. This is Gen 6. We are going to be expecting Pokemon such as Chespin, Fennekin, and Froakie. If you guys love the Pokemon series where Ash Ketchum has Froakie who evolved into Greninja and don't forget, Ash Greninja, this is definitely it, okay? I'm not gonna lie, everyone's gonna love Froakie and everyone's gonna be like, oh my god, I gotta have a Greninja and shiny Greninja is black, by the way. Bunnelby, Diggersby, Fletching, Fletchinder, Talonflame, Lithio, Pyro, and Klefki. So I think this is just one of the few ones that is coming out. But I think there are going to be more, definitely. Uh, yeah, so definitely uh, we're going to get new Pokemon from the Kalos region. This is going to start from December 2nd to December 8th, okay? Wow! So that means for just 6 days, right, we are going to get... Carlos region Pokemon. You don't have to wait until next year, right? This is coming up in a few weeks, okay? I think next next week, two weeks, all right? Two weeks, guys. Okay? Mysterious Raid Egg. Okay, so we're gonna get a, so we're gonna get a brand new one star raid Pokemon. I think that's kind of cool. I believe this has to do with Carlos Pokemon. It makes sense, right? To tie in with all the new Carlos type Pokemon. Yeah, okay. Uh, but apart from that, I think that's about it. Uh, this is a very, a bit long video, like 13 minutes, 15 minutes. I don't know. But anyway. Do let me know what you guys think about this whole entire update stuff and what is your what are you most excited about. For me, I would want to say that I'm definitely most excited about Gen 6 Carlos region Pokemon and stuff. Um, not too much on the Go Battle League because like I said, I don't really do a lot of Go Battling. But, 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 Carlos region Pokemon, okay? I think that one I'm most uh, excited about. Uh, and also not to mention leveling up. This is a bit of a blur picture, but I will try to go through anyway. This is the cumulative amount of EXP you need to level up for each level, okay? So 26 million, 33 million is million, right? Yeah, yep, 26 million, 33 million, 33.5 million, sorry, 42.5 million, 53.5 million, etc, etc, until you have 176 million EXP. Now, if you already have 176 million EXP, congratulations, you're already entitled to the level 50, but you still have to do all those side tasks, right? For me, for now, I think I'm close to level 43. Right now, if we look here, I have a total of 42.7 million EXP. 42.7 million means that, guys, I have reached level 43. <laughs> so with that said, uh, I'm able to obtain like, you know, a couple of cool stuff at level 43. But, you know, I think most likely for when this rolls out, right, we'll get, uh, I'm going to record myself getting to level 41, 42 and 43. Then the grind to level 44 is going to be a pain because it's 11 million EXP. <sighs> yeah, that's going to take a while.
Anyway, so do let me know in the comment section what are you guys most excited about in this whole entire new patch coming up next month, next next month, next year in fact. So, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Uh, today, it's a Sunday, so I'm going to take a break and I'm going to rest before I have to work tomorrow. So yeah, see you guys in the next one. Take care guys. Bye.